Hi, and we're back for some more Wreck at Home. I'm Jared Larish with the Salinas Recreation Division, and it's Olympic week in our summer kit series. So today's activity is gonna be a homemade uh, Olympic torch. So let's get into the kit and see what's in it, and then we'll get started. So as in all our kits, you're gonna find step-by-step -step instructions. For this activity, you're gonna find a craft tube. Uh, looks like a toilet paper tube, but trust me, it hasn't had toilet paper on it. You're also gonna find a foil sheet, some tissue paper, and a roll of scotch tape, okay? So the one thing you will need from home are some scissors, so make sure you get permission and get some help if you need it, okay? And lastly, what we're gonna use, this is optional. Uh, you can use a marker or a pen to uh, trace out what you're gonna cut, and we'll get into that when we do the activity. Um, you don't need this, you can cut it freehand, this is optional. We're just gonna use it today to give you a better idea of the shape we're kinda looking for, okay? So with that out of the way, let's get in and we'll get started, and we'll show you a finished product. So, first step, you take your craft tube and your sheet of foil, and we're just gonna wrap our craft tube in the foil, okay? Just wrap it up, and you're gonna stuff the excess inside, okay? Just to give ourselves kind of a, now you wanna make sure, you can leave one side plugged, but kind of push the in so you have a little bit of room on the inside, okay? And there's our first step. Now we can set this out of the way. We'll come back to that in a minute. Now is where your tissue paper, okay? So there's some orange and red, kind of the, the colors of the flame, okay? So you should have about three of each color. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you an idea of what shape we're looking for. We want kind of a tear shape, because uh, this is gonna be our, our torch flame. So what we're gonna do is just with our marker, just to give you an idea, is we're just gonna kind of draw something kind of like a tear shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, um, because at the end of the day, we're gonna crumple this up, and we'll show you that in a minute. So once you got this traced out, or you can just go ahead and cut freehand a shape that kind of gives you a, a flame look, we'll go ahead and cut these out. Okay, so once we've got them cut out, I'm gonna kind of spread them out, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna alternate the colors. Go red, orange, red, orange. Okay, now, you're gonna take your flames here, and you're gonna kinda scrunch them together at the bottom, and we're gonna give them a little, little bit of a crumple, okay? It's all right, we're gonna crumple them up now. At the bottom, you wanna kinda pinch it together, leaving most of the top separate. And you're gonna take a piece of your tape, and you're gonna tape all of this together, okay? Now, you wanna kinda fan your, your flames out here. There we go. So we have, have our flame for our torch. Now we're gonna bring back our tube, our foil tube, and on the end that we kinda pushed and made, a, made sure it was an opening, we're gonna set our flame in there, and you're gonna kinda push it down, and make sure your flames are kinda crinkled and fanned out. And we can take a little piece of tape just a little piece, we don't need a whole lot. And on one piece of the flame, you can kind of see it pressing down, and we're just gonna kind of tape that down. And make sure our flame is flan fanned out, kind of crinkled so it looks like it's uh, crackling, as fire does. And you have your homemade Olympic torch. So there we have our Olympic torch, all completed. So you can use this uh, while you're watching the games, uh, while you root on your favorite athletes during the Olympics. So stay safe out there, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.